So the last talk of the session on the conference, uh, thank you to the organizer for this wonderful event. Uh, I would like to start by saying that uh, this is mainly the work of my PhD student, uh, Alice Herman. Uh, unfortunately, she could not come to present uh, her work herself, so she just gave me her slides so that I could uh, present them. Uh, so this is about an interactive guidance process supporting consistent updates of RDFS graph. So the motivation is semantic data capitalization, which involves the creation of new semantic data and, as well, and also the, the update of existing data. The problem is that uh, there is a semantic uh, uh, well, knowledge gap between what the, the end users can uh, express, can do, on the semantic web for more languages. Most users are not able to express themselves directly in uh, RDF, for instance. However, we can see that from the Web 2.0 experience, uh, users significant, significantly contribute to the production of data, so there is not a problem of motivation, uh, only a problem of, of means or capability. So our objective is to make the update of RDFS graphs easier for end users. So we we'll first uh, present a uh, state of the art, then I will present uh, our approach named Utilis, and then I will show you an, implanta an implementation. Uh, I made a demo two years ago. Maybe some of you uh, have seen it. So there are a number of editors for RDF, da RDF data that exist. So the most well-known is uh, Protégé. So in Protégé, the user is assumed to first create the model, so defining the classes, then the properties, their range and domain, before populating or instantiating uh, the model and creating the objects. Uh, the user interface is based on forms, and those forms are derived from the model, basically the definition of domains and ranges of properties. And the suggestions are also based on the model, so when you want to fill a property, the protege will suggest you all possible instances of the class that is the range of the property. Another editor is uh, Gino which is based on a uh, controlled natural language uh, on, uh, where the grammar is also derived from a model. So you also have to define the, the classes and the properties which corresponds to nouns and verbs in the, in the language. And you also get some suggestions, but this mostly work by uh, auto-completion. So you start typing uh, a word and then it gives you the possible uh, completion for, for it. Uh, Quickie, which was presented uh, two years ago at this uh, conference, uh, uh, is a very lightweight uh, interface for easily creating uh, triples, one triple at a time. It also relies on auto-completion with an intelligent uh, auto-completion uh, mechanism. But here, it's not required to define the model in advance. You can create uh, model triples at the same time uh, as uh, data triples. Uh, finally, there is Semantic MediaWiki, which is a ex semantic extension of MediaWiki to create RDF triples. So, and here, you don't, this doesn't assume as well a model, but this uh, assumes the definition of semantic forms, which have to be manually defined in advance. So if we look at those editors, they all uh, provide some uh, level of suggestions to the users. Those suggestions can be based on the vocabulary of the base uh, through auto-completion, for instance, uh, on the ontological model, uh, in many cases, and also on the syntax of the language, like in Gino, for instance. Uh, this guarantees that the triples that are produced have a correct syntax, which, uh, so that users don't have to bother about the concrete syntax of the triples that have to be produced. And also, this uh, fav favors the consistency with the ontological model, uh, like in Protégé, for instance, where you cannot put a value that has not the right type. Uh, however, there is still uh, a problem, where the problem we, we consider here is that if you already have given some properties to the object you want to describe, uh, those properties that are already known are not used to give the suggestions to the, to the user. Only its class is generally used, and because of this, the suggestions are not specialized to the new object. And there is another aspect to this problem, which is not written here. But if you already have some similar objects in the base, it could be useful to look at them to, make, uh, to provide better suggestions. 
So this is the idea of our approach, Utilis, which means updates through interaction uh, on lease is the name of our team, research team. And the principle of our approach is that model on object, on, on object can be created at the same level, like in Quickie on the semantic media wiki, for instance. So this doesn't assume that you first define a model, you can start to directly create uh, tripers, uh, data tripers. Uh, you, don't, you can create several tripers at a time because basically what you will do is to construct, uh, to build the full description of an object. Okay? Uh, the suggestions will be based on similar objects that already exist in the base uh, and they will also be based uh, on the already known properties of the object that you are creating. There are no required models. Examples are enough, but if there is a model, this can be used as well. And there is as well no required input, uh, which means that the user gets some suggestion even before entering or inputting uh, anything. So you don't have to type first characters, you, you get some suggestions uh, from the start. So here is a use case. So suppose you have a new object. So here it's a comic panel. Uh, a comic panel. And you want to describe it uh, by uh, its collection, the characters that appear on it, the bubbles, their text, their type, and so on. Okay. And uh, suppose you already have uh, a base of comic panels that have already been described. So here we mostly consider the case where there are already a number of examples that have been described, and we want to let users complete the, bay by, uh, the base by creating and describing new objects that are similar. So suppose that at some stage of the utilis uh, process, we have already described this subject with a number of properties. So here, for instance, we have already described the type, uh, the collection, uh, uh, the character, and we have already said that there is a screen bubble, but we did not yet specify uh, who says the bubble and to, uh, to whom it is spoken to. And there may also be additional properties that we may want to, uh, <coughs> sorry, to define. So here you have the description in turtle syntax, which is uh, similar to what is displayed in the, in the software. Okay. So now the principle of uh, the suggestions is to look at the existing objects and their properties that match the current description. So basically you start from the current description, so assume that to start with we only know that the, the object is a panel. Then we will make, transform this into a query, what is a panel? And then we will retrieve from the base all the existing panels. So for instance, panel A, panel B. And we will suggest those panels as well as their properties as suggestions. Then the user can discover that usually panels are described by a collection or by a character. And uh, we can imagine that the user first choose collection to be described. And this will be inserted in the current description that the user is uh, constructing. Okay? So at the next step, the system will help the user to choose which collection it is. The problem is that uh, quickly there are no answers because when the description becomes uh, very specific, once you have defined, for instance, that this collection is Calvin and Hobbes and that there is a screen bubble, uh, there may be no uh, panel, no object in the base that satisfies this query. And so you can't provide any suggestion. So the, the key uh, aspect of our approach is to apply query relaxation in order to find answers, similar answers, not exact answers. So if you start from the initial query, which has no answer, you can apply some relaxation, query relaxation, in order to find a generalized query. So here we can see that a screen bubble has been replaced simply by a bubble. So we forget about the precise type of the bubble. In this way, we can find this time uh, panels, so answers to the query, from which we can uh, compute suggestions for the user. Okay. So we have defined a number of uh, relaxation rules, so the, the way we can uh, relax or generalize the query. So I won't get into the details, but the idea is that you can replace a property by a super property, so a more general property, and you can replace a class by a super class, and you can also simply forget about some information, remove some uh, information from the description, from the query. So the initial query serves as the basis for the relaxation, 
And then the query is decomposed in two triples so as to apply relaxation to each triple in uh, all possible combinations. So just to take an example, if you take the, the query, what is a panel and as collection Kelvin and Ops, and as a bubble that is a screen bubble, you can decompose this in a set of uh, five triples. Okay, so where X, so introduce simply variables uh, representing the different entities that are involved. Then you can uh, put in a row all the initial triples, and on top of each of them, we have the, the successive uh, possible relaxation for each triple. Okay. So we can see that this one has two possible relaxations, so it can be relaxed twice, and the other one can be relaxed only once. So the relax query is made of uh, relax triples, uh, and we just have uh, a few constraints on the relax query to, so that the, the relax query uh, is well formed. So the query graph should remain connected, otherwise it's uh, not interesting. The focus variable, so what we want to uh, get suggestions about, it must still be in the query, and the query must uh, have answers. So I take the same diagram as uh, previously, and the red line is simply, uh, you can see it as a, as a string that goes through the triples that you want to, uh, to retain. So if you take all the initial queries, then the number of relaxations that have been performed is zero. Okay. And then if you take this relaxed triple instead of this one, then you have performed one relaxation. And if you want to perform two relaxations, there are several possible ways. You can relax two different triples, or you can relax once the same triple. Okay. So here we have a kind of distance, a relaxation distance, which is between the initial query and the generalized query, which is the number of relaxations that you have applied to the, to the initial query. Okay. And for one distance, there are many possible relaxed query. Okay. And by default, only the suggestions at the smallest distance are proposed. So this means that the system will apply relaxations uh, uh, until it, it can find, it can find uh, some answers. And then the list of suggestions will be proposed. But the user can ask for more suggestions by asking the system to apply more relaxations. So if we take another example, so if we start with a panel uh, about which we have described the collection and we have said that the bubble is a screen bubble. So the initial query has no answer. If we relax a screen bubble into bubble, we get some answers from which we, the user can pick a suggestion. For instance, it will now describe the, uh, the character. Okay. Then start continuing from this, so he has chosen characters. So now the, the system will try to suggest which character can fill in the character property. Okay. So now the initial query is what is the character of a panel whose collection is Kelvin and Ops and whose bubble is a screen bubble. There are no answers, but it is enough to generalize or to relax this query once in order to find answers. And here the answers will be the characters of the panels uh, that match this query. Okay. And here you, we can see among the suggestions uh, Calvin's mother, and the user can pick uh, this character, which will come uh, at the right place in the current description. And in fact, this process can continue. Uh, this is a cycle. You start from the description, then you derive the initial query, then you can apply a number of relaxation from which you get some suggestions, among which the user will pick one, which will uh, complete the current description, and then you can start again until the description is complete uh, according to your knowledge. So uh, a few words about the implementation. So the utilist approach has been integrated into CWILIS. So CWILIS is Semantic Web Logical Information System. Uh, it tries to reconcile expressive querying and exploratory search. Uh, it's based on query-based faceted search, so a kind of faceted search that is based on the construction of queries. Uh, we use LISQL as a notation for Sparkle-like uh, queries. So this means that the expressiveness is uh, very similar to Sparkle 1.0. Uh, 
but with a syntax that, is, uh, that looks like turtle. It's not turtle because there is disjunction and negation which are not available in turtle, so we extended it. Uh, the good properties of this uh, software for, um, is that it uh, provides safe navigation, no dead end, so you can't jump uh, into an empty result. And it also offers complete navigation. Every list query that has answers can be uh, reached by navigation only. So we integrated into this. Into this. Uh, this means implementing an efficient query relaxation mechanism to find the similar objects. And we base this on dynamic programming because there is some combinatorial involved in the relaxation process. And uh, we, with dynamic programming, we made it uh, polynomial instead of combinatorial. So this makes a big, di big difference. Uh, it reused the same user interface, adi adding the possibility to create entities and, of, of course, some controls to, for the update. And uh, we also added some auto-completion mechanism inspired by uh, Quickie. So here is the interface. So on the left, you have the, the query. And later, there will be the, the description. On the right, you have the results. And in the middle, you have the navigation tree, which contains all suggestions, so classes and properties. Okay. So the, same, the exact same interface can be used for updating through interaction. Okay. So the difference is that here, the left part is used uh, for the description of the current object, which will be built according to the same principles uh, as the queries. Uh, in the middle, you have the suggestions, so which properties and which classes can be applied at uh, the current focus. On, on the right, you also have suggestions, what are the possible values for a given uh, property. Okay. So here you can see that there is some uh, red or pink uh, background. So this indicates to the user that some relaxation has been performed, and therefore the suggestions are not exact answers to the description seen as a query. Okay. There is a button to ask for more suggestions on more similar objects. And there is a button to, um, to perform the assertion, that is to add all the information in the current description into the base. So for one description, there may be uh, many triples involved, of course. Okay. So then we perform the usability uh, study about this method, uh, about the, the utilities approach. Uh, 18 users uh, were involved. There were students in computer science. And we, we compared Protégé with uh, Anse Willis. So the subjects had to learn each editor through an example. Then to, uh, they had to produce description for comic panels uh, with each editor during uh, 30 minutes. And then they had to answer a questionnaire about uh, each uh, editor. So we measured the number of described panels in both uh, tools, the number of errors on their type. And uh, for the release, we also looked uh, at the selection mode of suggestions because there are several possible ways. Either you pick one among the suggestions, uh, whether they ask for more suggestions, or whether they use auto-completion. So if we look at the objective results, uh, the same number of panels were described with both tools, uh, nine on average, which is not too bad. So nine panels were described in half an hour for each tool. Um, in series, the suggestions were used much more often than auto-completion, so this proves that at least in this tool, uh, the suggestions by series and computed by utilities uh, were found useful, except for one property for which the suggestions were less interesting. And if we look at the total number of errors, uh, they are similar, in fact, for both tools. So we look at them more in detail. We looked at the different error types and also at how many subjects did uh, the errors. Because we realized that sometimes a few subjects made a very large number of the same kind of errors. So we found it more informative to, to distinguish the result type by type. <coughs> So the most interesting result here is that uh, about duplicates, because there is the ability to create new entities uh, about characters or objects that are found on the panels. <coughs> and it appears that in a CO release, uh, no subject uh, introduced uh, duplicates. Okay? Unlike in Protégé, where uh, 
11 out of 18 uh, subjects introduce uh, one or several uh, duplicates. So this is a key distinction between the two. Uh, in C-release, they also forgot less elements in descriptions, uh, but the number of uh, wrong values, uh, about the same number of people introduce uh, wrong values at some parts of the description. So on the bad side, we have discovered that uh, half of the subjects made at least once uh, an error about the focus, which means that, for instance, they introduced the wrong property uh, on some entity. So maybe describing uh, a bubble by a collection, for instance, whereas collection is expected to apply on the panel and not on the bubble. Uh, if we look at the subjective results, so uh, answers to questionnaires, uh, most subjects lack the Sewillis suggestions. They found, the, they found them uh, useful. Uh, most of them were uh, bothered by the full list in Protégé, because in Protégé, uh, the number of suggestions were generally much uh, higher. Uh, half of the subjects lack the Protégé forms, and the same number had some problems with the construction of Sewillis descriptions. So if we do an analysis, uh, I would say that C-Willis better ensures consistency by avo avoiding duplicates, by uh, producing less wrong values, by favoring a better reuse of existing resources, which is an important aspect of five stars uh, linked open data. But on the other side, C-Willis looks somewhat too flexible in that any property can be attached to any resource where Protégé would be more cautious and would ensure that uh, a protege cannot, uh, property cannot be attached to the wrong uh, class. So in fact, the C-release discourages uh, such errors, uh, but it doesn't make them uh, impossible. And uh, for uh, the subject who relied a lot on auto-completion, it was easy to make such errors. OK, so as a conclusion, uh, all object descriptions can be created by navigation. So you don't have to type anything except for creating new entities. Mm -hmm. Uh, users do not need to know the model because the suggestions are based on example, on, so they just have to imitate the, the shape of existing descriptions. Uh, the suggestions are available without user input. The list of suggestions is reduced and adapts to the new objects. The more we know about an object, the less suggestions there are. Uh, we have managed to find an efficient relaxation algorithm. You can look in the paper for details and uh, the suggestions were relevant and appreciated. And maybe the most important result is that consistency was better ensured using uh, Utilis. Thank you. Question? So we can, it's not the usual similarity, which is generally computed from one object to one object directly, but we can still see it as a kind of similarity because there is a distance between. Yeah, it's in indirect yeah. notion, in yes. You are working yeah. on the query rather than yes, on, on, the object, yeah. on the object. So the, the yeah. similarity relation goes through the generalized yeah, yeah, query. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's, yeah. I'm not a sparkling point. <laughs> <laughs> I was very concentrated on the work. So let's thank the speaker and